My cards have been divided up so that um, the border cards, which is the area that's not got any brocade, the first 20 are there and that just helps me to, to count. I have a pattern that I've worked out, um, drawn up and used Guntram's tablet weaving thingy to generate the numbers. So I now am going to count the tie down tablets. So 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. I'm coming in at the complete shed because for this brocade I'm using the complete tie down point so in other words the two threads from both holes as a tie down uh, it just makes life a little bit quicker so there are my tie downs and then I'm going to go over the next set of threads which is where the brocade thread will be so 39, 40, 41, 42, 43 then back down 44, 45, 46, 47, 48 49, 50, 53, 54. Now I already know that after this group, <clears throat> the first thread is, uh, the first card is card 63. So I can continue my counting with a big area like this. So 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, and 81. So that's the last one. So I bring my stick down so that I can just have a quick check that it appears to be right, just in case there's a glaring error. And then I'm going to bring in... Um, my beater so that I can actually give a little bit more space here for my shuttle with the brocade threads to pass through so I'll tilt that up and as I say what I'm actually lifting is the tie down threads so the spaces is where you'll see the brocade bring the brocade threads in and then I'm going to take the brocade through the shed and down to the back and I do so at, a, at the set number of tablets. Now turn the tablets. You'll notice I haven't tried to beat the brocade weft down in a straight line or anything. Because now that I've twisted the tablets that can happen here when I lock it in. and then bring the weft on the other side in and that helps to keep a neater edge and then draw the weft so I always leave a little loop when I'm actually most of the time when I'm weaving but definitely when I'm brocading now the brocade weft has to come back up to the middle of the shed so I come in three tablets from the edge you don't want it in exactly the same place. Bring that through so it's actually in the shed waiting. Move my pattern along a line and start again, counting again. So, and exactly the same process, just different tablets this time.
normally I would have the tablets a little bit further away from the actual weaving but we've brought it in so that we can film the same th what's happening at the same time and then sink that back down to the back of the band and again turn the tablets ready for the next pass. <laughs> 